This is her first time. Let's see how she reacts. I'll give her a little beep here. Little stem, beep, stem. She, she's now looking for me. I'm letting her stay a little, a little stressed for a second. Like, to feel it. And then... Hey, Maggie, come on. So they go past you, good. Come here, Maggie. Come here, Maggie. Oh, Maggie, delicious. <laughs> Hello. Okay, good deal. I like that. <laughs> so um, what I'm doing is she walks away, I'm going to correct and recall again. If you tell them you come to me, then you're good. Nice. Most dogs instantly walk right away, though. This is nice. Very good. Okay. Does somebody teach you stuff already? Hey. Maggie. Maggie. Oh, you do know stuff. Good girl. <laughs> that was nice. Oh, I lost you. Break. Woo, Maggie! Yay! Oh, she did do it. Oh, my God. So it's B, stems being held. There, okay? Stems being held. Huh? Come here. And it's important to get to try all the options. Right? She's just went from there to, to there. So it's stem, B, stem, right? And I can change, I can change the intensity of my stem. I can go lower or higher, right? Right here, she's like, I'm gonna wait this out because it's so bad, so I can dial it up. Come here, and I see more motivation, and boom. And that's an experience. <laughs> that's right. And right where she's supposed to be. Because this dog knows what you're asking of. And then off, okay? So that's beep, stem is held until she gets here and it's turned off. Okay, this position is what turns off the stem. Now, eventually, it's just gonna be beep and she's gonna recall, but there's gonna be no stem. But if she doesn't listen, there's that correction. Good girl. Getting my scent. Nothing's a coincidence with dogs. Okay, she doesn't want to follow a leader. Sit. There's a recall. The stem is on and now it's off. Good girl. She found her position. Good girl. <laughs> He's like, what's your laugh? She said, what's your laugh? Like, I'm about to I'm about to end this experience, this moment, and then let her reset, okay? I pushed her a little bit. It's, it was her second week. So that was her third one then. That one right there where she went away. Or fourth. Like, I'm losing track now. Come. Good. Okay. Good. Good. That's my girl. Hi. So pretty. Okay, sit. Give me a sit. Pressure's on. You check that sit. Okay, stubborn butt. Go up just a little bit. Good girl. That's a beautiful girl. Okay, so she's become an operant to, you know, we just started. But these experiences are saying, okay, so that sensation turns on. When I haven't, when I've been asked to do something, but I haven't completed it or I refuse <laughs> to try, and it will turn off when I complete the command I'm asking. Slowly, she'll get that understanding. These are, this is how we do. Okay, good girl. I'm seeing a dog who is, uh, who, who's gonna need some processing time. She, it's blowing her mind that she can be corrected when spoken to like that without me having to even go over there and do it. And, and it does this to some dogs, you know. In the beginning, like, I didn't know you could do that. Okay, hang on a second. Let me start changing my response, which means they're now trying to find a new one, which is stressful because they're like, okay, there's consequences involved. My decisions matter. It's a little stressful. Well, she's going to realize it's not so stressful. I'm, I'm going to release her. I'm going to show her, hey, I'm here to guide you. If you decide to take my direction, you're going to notice it's really easy and maybe even fun. It's when you're stubborn is when it's going to be 
not so fun. In stubborn, the attitude being, I don't want to listen to you. Because I think that's the core problem. This dog genetically seems awesome. So she just realized that she doesn't have to listen. So she's not going to. And now she's starting to realize I might have to listen, which is a new way of her going through the world. It's a different position in her pack. Okay? All right. This is a good girl. Just me recalling. And by recall, having that recall, understand, which we just started, that's why I wanted to call out the number of the reps room. Um, that equals a stay. Because I can just sit here, and if it means come back here, if you keep leaving, I can correct and recall, it equals a stay. And then once it equals a stay, then I'll step back and release them. And now I'm, I'm, I'm getting that recall. I'm getting the mind how I want it to be when they get to me. I'm associating with hold and still when they get here. And I'm starting the command training at the same time, okay? Because this looks the same with dogs who don't know sit and who don't know recall. The only difference is I want to ask them to sit. I tested with her. If she, if she didn't give me a sit, I wouldn't have asked to sit. I would just wait it out. And it would end up being this anyway. Probably a lay down or a sit because they've exhausted the options of walking away. You see her try it, right? And now she's like, okay, here's, here's the safe spot. Here's where I'm supposed to be. And I'm going to release her. Pop. And it's off. Hi. Hi. What a pretty good girl. Hi. Are you a nice girl? Yes, I am. I'm such a good girl.